r slash ask reddit what does europe have that north america does not tons of really old buildings castles edit apparently i haven't traveled to the castles in na my bad thanks everyone though you are giving me something to my mind off of the indoor water park that quickly developed in my house drop the name of where the castles are and i'll add it to my list go to go shop vac some more water out of my house dragons wild hedgehogs the best part about having insomnia in late summer is hanging out in the garden and suddenly hearing noises you'd expect from the depth of hell before a cabbage sized spiky guy scuttles out from the bushes on his hunt for slugs the noises hedgehogs make are unreal i beg your pardon what boobs and shampoo commercials in England they have a dating show called Naked Attraction where they show full male and female nudity and discuss the merits of a lady's labia or the attractiveness of a gent's ball sack. Tax inclusion in prices. I still don't understand that about Americans to rest it. Thank you for all the replies and explanations. Conclusion. Government bad. Open bracket. Also screw coals apparently lol. Pretty sure it's to encourage you to spend more money when you get to the register and it's higher than you expected. Most people will just say oh well. We also have a lot of stores where everything is always 30-50% off. So you always think you got a good deal. Duck in coals. Literally every item always on sale. Bathroom stalls you can't see directly into. Never understood why American stalls are like this. Now, when I was a small child in Australia there were pay toilets in the train stations. Hence the old ditty here I sit broken hearted. Paid a penny and only farted. In Europe there's a gate silhouette cut out where children can go through for free. Unexploded ordnance from two world wars. I think America has at least two unexploded atomic bombs that the government couldn't find after they were lost in a plane crash edit. It's more than two. There are over 15 lost nukes all over the world. This is super ducked up. Neanderthal fossils. That's no way to speak about the royal family edit. Damn this kinda blew up lol. Which one? 50 hertz electrical. 380 volt 3 phases in residential. I know you can have 3 phases there too. But like. I have it. In my apartment. Edit. You can have 1 phase 230 volt. 3 phase 380 volt. 400 volt. 3p plus neutral. And in Belgium you can also get 3 phases 230 volt. No neutral. In some old installations. 400 v now buddy. Georgia oh wait. I remember when I was younger I was talking to someone on Omegle who said they were from Georgia. It was really confusing why they had such an American accent. Not knowing Georgia is also a US state haha. In 1996. The Georgian athletes were treated like kings by the locals in Atlanta. Welcome home y'all. An effective train system. More like an effective public transportation system. More like public transportation system. Europe pays their service staff and don't expect the public to pay their wages, or for their staff to rely on tips. Some states, California for example, pay their service staff at least minimum wage and the staff also gets tipped. We had a server recently who was a college grad and said he didn't want to leave his service job because it paid better than a job he could get with his degree. Definitely, I'm from the UK and moved to Toronto for a bit and worked in a high-end restaurant as a busboy. I made minimum wage as well as weekly tips. I was making around $4,000 plus a month. As a busboy, the servers made a lot more as they took more of the tips. As they should, we were all young, either doing degrees or doing other stuff outside of the service industry. But I found that you could easily make a comfortable living in the service industry. In the UK you don't make anything near that amount. I've never really understood the comparison to be honest. But I guess not everyone works in high-end restaurants either. The ability to say don't and not have people act like you've just shit in the middle of their house. I was in Bali for my honeymoon. One night we found ourselves on the same table as two middle-aged couples from Australia. English not being my first language I navigated the conversation somewhat alright until I slipped the word duck. They immediately went ah here we are. And started swearing like sailors xd I had opened the floodgate so apparently ever nation that is not the US like swearing. Aussies swear enough to make sailors blush. 
He's a dunt and he's a good dunt are exactly opposite in meaning. I'm fairly sure it's been used in an OSC parliament too. So it's on Hansard record. Walkable cities. I used to live in an apartment complex across the street from a grocery store, and there were no sidewalks or pedestrian crossings to walk there. Edit. Yes. Of course this was America. Go to force me to drive across the street. After all. I thought Chicago was very walkable when I visited. Foreskin. This American woman I talked to on Ike back in the 90s asked me if she could see my foreskin over net meeting. I obliged because why not? She was absolutely fascinated by it because she'd never seen one before despite having had several partners. Everyone I've been with loved to play with it. It was such a curiosity to them. Do you mind if I touch it? That's the biggest perk. Explosive ordnance hiding under rocks. Inside trees. Buried just under the surface. Every few years you hear about someone in Europe finding a grenade or a bomb with sometimes disastrous, sometimes hilarious results. Edit. This comment seems to have been a little misleading. While news items related to Uxo make it from Europe to the US every year or two, it is being found on an almost daily basis. Usually it is disposed of without incident. Second edit. Of course it happens in the US too. But for the most part it is near military bases or military training sites and poses a smaller danger to the public. In Europe it's everywhere. Left over from two world wars and several smaller, more recent ones. Plus nobody knows where most of it is. As several responses have stated, in Europe you can find you so just digging in your backyard. In 99.9% of North America this is not the case. HTTPS colon slash slash www lbc company uck world news france hospital evacuated man has ww1 shell up anus and in some really surprising places my favorite thing about that story was that the bomb experts had to check the shell was defused before the doctors could remove it how many experts from different fields have you had looking up your ass in one day less than that guy i bet so many people here forgetting that Canada and Mexico are also on the North American continent. You're in for a bigger surprise. HTTPS colon slash slash en m wikipedia org wiki list of sovereign states and dependent territories in North America. Multi opening windows. That really depends where you are. Those are more common in northern US and Canada. In addition to the windows, I wish we had those rolling metal shutters like they have in Germany. Rowladen I think they're called. Edit. Rowladen. Great for sleeping during the day. Watching movies. Zombie uprisings. Etc. Wild hedgehogs and nightingales. Um excuse me. The nightingales don't exist. Some say they are a part of the thieves guild. But there is no way that group is real. They're as real as the dark brotherhood. Scandinavia. I was going to say parents that leave a baby outside by themselves but I guess Scandinavia is a shorter way to say that. I mean, who wants to steal a baby in this economy? A wonderful aversion to banal small talk. I wouldn't say we are against small talk, but void talk, in America for some reason is expected to go out of your way to talk about stuff none of the speakers gives a shit about. Always found it super weird. Yep, that's a better way of describing it. I go shopping in the middle of the night in a hoodie with the hood up, and do self checkout. So I don't have to talk to people about nothing, and I swear they seek you out. The other day I asked about the hours a business was open, and literally got a 10 minute life story, and they didn't answer the question. It's so obnoxious after being in Europe and not dealing with this nonsense. Working rights. Yeah like 5 week vacations per year. I have 6 weeks paid vacation. This is more like the norm over here. My wife has 6 weeks to- Legal minimum is 4. That 1 euro I dropped that one time on vacation. Sorry mate I was the one who found that and I already spent it. People who want to have sex with me. Anyway. I assume that's where they are. Dang. Why didn't I think of that? Come now Sebastian. We leave at dusk. I bought two one-way tickets to the Isle of Man. I'm assuming it's full of women and named using island logic where you name it the thing it's devoid of, like Greenland. Christmas markets. Seriously America, we need to get on this train. We have farmers and flea markets in the summer. We just need to get them up in the winter time. 
and add bratwursts. Edit. It appears they are a thing in major cities. European countries. Greenland is part of North America and is under Danish rule. There's also a bunch of islands in the Caribbean which are owned by various European powers. And just so you don't have to smiling face with glasses to myself. GDPR. Seriously. Rights and expectations over one's data. Americans have no rights. The greedy corporations do. Edit. Can't spell. Thanks for the pointer you slash sexual abundance. Open bracket. Edit. And you slash pndi mountain. Buildings and structures that are over 500 years old. That are still used as residences and functioning buildings. As opposed to ruins or historical sites. The entirety of Mexico is part of North America. Which includes cathedrals and other structures from the early 16th century that are still in use. Good public transportation. Drastically varies where. German compared to Texas? Absolutely. Island compared to New York? Duck no. Difficult to speak for all of Europe. Most countries have stuff that others don't. It's a wide variation in a lot of stuff and in daily life too. Italy. More uncircumcised men. Better cheese. I swear to god if anyone says the two things are related I will fong you. Those things are only related in France. Gap less restroom stalls. Hadrian's wall. It everyone saying US is basically all of NA. It everyone referring to Europe as if it were a singular country. Old York. Affordable healthcare. Food with less chemicals. No one tell him what literally everything he's ever eaten is made of. Actual kinda eggs with actual toys. Jokes about not having school shootings. Talking. I visited the US two years ago and people were so friendly and talkative. I can't recall the last time someone smaller talked with me in Sweden. Free universities. How to study in Germany for a tuition free English taught master's degree. HTTPS colon slash slash www reddit com r slash germany wiki how to study how to stay after graduation. HTTPS colon slash slash www reddit com r slash germany wiki studying immigration. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.